In classical computing, the basic calculations that a computer does are based on bits. The bit is a basic unit of information with two possible values, 0 or 1. The bit is a building block that powers classical computing, allowing computers to perform sophisticated calculations. Other common ways to represent the bit include true or false, yes or no, plus or minus, or on or off. But quantum computing is an advanced form of computing, and it uses a different kind of bit, the qubit. While the classical bit only has two possible values, the qubit has unlimited values. The power of quantum computing is based on discoveries made about physics and quantum mechanics. For example, at the atomic level, an electron spins around the nucleus of an atom. This phenomena is like a tiny version of how planets orbit around the sun. With quantum computing, you can store information at the atomic level. To understand a classical bit, you can think of the two possible values being represented by either side of a coin. For a qubit, you can think of a coin spinning and consider the many angles you can see the coin from. This power that qubits have allows quantum computers to perform calculations much faster. And it also allows quantum computers to tackle problems that are too complex for classical computers to handle.